the jokes, I decide where the punchline is, I decide when to go on, I make every decision. Alan may be in control now, but for much of his life, he wasn't. When he was just 11 years old, his world was shattered when his father was killed by a drunk driver. I've had um, a curious relationship with God since my father died. The law set Alan on a self-destructive path, hard partying, and in 1979, a cocaine bust which landed him in prison for two years. They don't ever sell drugs to policemen. <laughs> they don't like it. They tend to tell judges, people come get you, and then you eat very bad food for a long time. What do you think is the most important thing you learned? I'm a survivor, number one. Mm -hmm. I know how to survive. Uh, my sense of humor clearly is my ally. So in a certain sense, comedy saved you. Always does. We are here to discuss men's stuff. After his release from prison, stand-up became a career. Allen centered his act around the image of the power tool wielding man ape. And before long, an oddly timed call made that mouth breather a star. You actually got a, a phone call one day from your parole officer and the next day from Jeffrey Katzenberg right. at he, Disney? The parole officer said, you're released, everything was going well, and then the Katzenberg called me and said, we'd like you to be part of the Disney family. Did the irony strike you? I'm, did you say, it, Jeffrey, my life I'm a is felon? Just filled with <laughs> it's just filled with irony. Mm. That conversation spawned home improvement and soon white-hot celebrity. Alan parlayed that popularity onto the big screen, starring in a slew of family favorites like The Santa Claus and Toy Come Story. On, guys, let's get our parts together, get ready, and go out on a high note. I pump for you, my little Edelweiss. By 1997, Alan had conquered Hollywood, but still had not wrestled his own demons to the ground. Your dad was killed by a drunk driver. Mm -hmm. You and your adult life were arrested for drunk driving. I find it humiliating that, and, and I'm, by the grace of God, I didn't hurt anybody or myself for the years that I was, you know, drinking and driving. I could have been that guy that did that to us. But you did say it gave you your greatest gift, which is sobriety. Sobriety, yeah. Well, the I never thought I, I thought it would be no fun, and it turns out fun has nothing to do with being drunk. At least for me, it doesn't. So you know yourself better. I'm still the person of excess. Luckily, it's not food or gambling or sex or it is cars. Ah, the cars. Alan owns more than he'll admit on camera. What is this orange one? Because I have to say, that's the thing I look at. Well, first. everybody goes Coming to the out. bright colors. We're, we're like children. This is like. But in a quick tour of his garage, we saw his 66 Chevelle. This all slides back, but it's got. A VW Bug. I love this old fashioned. Everything about it. This and this awesome. antique truck. You don't still drive this one. You know, I wish I could say yes, because I'd look really cool with a straw hat and one a <laughs> little bit of howdy. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Alan restores many of these cars himself, like this rare 1970 Ford Falcon. So why are so many of your cars in this collection old? Because I'm old. <laughs> no. So what you trying to say? All right, no. this is done. <laughs> this, I hate this sort of stuff. They lead you into this stuff. Why are all the cars old? Why do you have wrinkles on your eyes? That's what's next. I didn't ask Why that. do you seem to walk slower? <laughs> because I'm old. But don't let the antics fool you. Alan is a thinking man's clown. He'd rather discuss quantum physics than box office numbers. Whether you're a true believer or a pagan. <laughs> And he spends a lot of time working on that curious relationship with God, or, as he says, the builder. Oh, my God. Honey, don't say God in church. I always do ask, whoever put me here, mm -hmm. the builder, what did you want me to do? Do you think people would be surprised to know how deeply religious you or spiritual you are? Well, if you, if you know me, you know it. I don't push it. I just want a relationship with whoever built me. This is too much, too weird that it happened by accident. It didn't happen by accident. I don't feel that it did. Men are pigs, right, women? And it seems the builder has a sense of humor, too. Just too bad we own everything. <laughs> Alan, who has spent his life trying to relate to females, also gets to raise them. He has an adult daughter and now a two-and-a-half-year-old baby named Elizabeth. I would never in my life be involved in tea parties as much as I am right now. It's very different for me. I'm not my wheelhouse. I don't like it, but I love it with her. He'll discuss parenting and spirituality with a straight face, but at heart, Tim Allen is a comic, and it's never too long before he returns to his natural habitat. 
Yeah, that's it. Throw it at her. As I found out myself when my cell phone rang. Hello? Hi, sweetheart. Mommy's in the middle of an interview right oh, now. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> now it's the kid. I'll call you right back, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I will. I love you. Bye. Yeah, instead, it was, it was a man's voice. <laughs> yeah, hey, baby, how's it going? <laughs> I get it. I, I so get it. It's my son. Yeah, it's my sure eight-year-old uh -huh. son. Yeah, how you doing, baby? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Sorry. What are you doing here? <laughs> it's just I love to laugh. I love it more than anything else. I love to laugh. There's nothing better than making people laugh. Thanks, guys.